Hey, hope y'all are well. We are starting the week off a little bit differently than usual, trying something new. I have been in just a bit of a funk the last couple of weeks. I think it's been a, a combination of the weather. It's been really dreary and um, gray here in New York. Um, and then we've had a little bit of a, an emotional week on the toddler front. And so it's just kind of been a lot. Um, so we're trying something new. I'm just feeling, yeah, even just kind of creatively in a rut. And so that I might try a, a vlog. I've never done that before. So we'll see how it goes. We have been just kind of doing our thing around the house lately. Like I, like I said, it's been really dreary and I tend to get a little bit blue this time of year Mommy. as do so many other people. Yeah. Mommy. Yes. Can I put that on for her? Here we go. Like I was saying, just feeling creatively in a bit of a rut. Um, need to try something different. So here we are, we're trying to vlog. I need to figure out where to look. I'm like looking at my little screen and then looking here. So I guess I should look here at you. So we're gonna try that this week. We'll see where the vlog takes us. Today we are just kind of hanging at home. Groceries are coming in the next little bit. So we'll spend the rest of the morning getting all that settled. We need to make a little trip to the post office a bit later to pick up some packages and drop some off. So yeah, it, it should be a pretty normal week overall. Um, yeah, so excited to try a little something new. Also got these massive hair clips in from Kitsch. I don't know if you can see them, but I'm very into it. Not quite sure what to do with my hair these days. Also, loving this bangle from Thatch. I like to wear it over my sweaters. I'm pretty over sweaters and jeans at this point, as are many of us this time of year in the winter. I gotta figure out where to look here. Do I look here or do I look here? I guess I'll look here. Um, but just trying to figure out ways to like break up the monotony of jeans and sweaters. So I'm actually wearing a sweater dress today. I'm perched by the window, actually. Um, here, so kind of in a funny position here, but anyway, really chunky and oversized and also adjustable. What? Very into this, excuse the mess. Very into this super oversized denim jacket from All Saints. I got it a few days ago and I think I've worn it every day since it came. The fit is perfect. I'm wearing small. I love that it's super, super oversized. A really great year round jacket would fit really great over a sweater. I'm wearing it over a sweater dress right now. Just with some trusty uh, Burks. We're headed to the post office. For dinner tonight, we are having Smitten Kitchen's chicken marsala meatballs. When we were in Phoenix a few weeks ago with our friends, we, um, we had it for dinner one night. A couple of my friends uh, made it and it was absolutely delicious. I love Smitten Kitchen, but I have never made this recipe myself. So we're doing it. about these necklaces. I'm really loving the way they all look together. This heart 
necklace is Jenny Bird. This cross is Sean Liu. The little, where is it? This one. This little one here, I don't know if you can really see it very well. But this one is Dorsey, which I absolutely love. This little diamond one here, there we go. And then this one is also Sean Liu. I like to wear it with this little buckle like in the front. It was turned around there. Love a good necklace stack these days. Starting to lose our minds a little bit over here. I'm so affected by the weather. So hopefully the sun comes out soon. Good morning. It is Thursday. We are almost to the end of the week. It's it always feels a little bit like we're over the hump for sure. Um, once we get through Wednesdays, Michael has a, a late night class on Wednesdays. So it just makes for kind of a long day. And then Thursdays, the girls have theater, which is nice. So it's just nice having something to do and like something to add some structure to our day. Sometimes the days just feel long because we don't have a lot of like standing plans. And so, I like Thursdays for that reason, for sure. So we might go to the library before. We live on the um, on the Upper West Side and their class is on the East Side. So we sometimes go a little early to go to the library. There's a library not too far away. Just something else to do, get some coffee. Right now I'm just gonna do my makeup and start to kind of get ready for the day. Right now I'm doing sunscreen. I've really been loving mixing these two sunscreens. Put the lids on so I can show you. It's the Super Goop Glow Screen. And then this one that I cannot remember the name of right now, but I'll link it. I just got it and I really like mixing the two of them together. So, add these to your list. Another product I've been loving via TikTok is this concealer or cushion, I guess. Found I'm sorry, not concealer, foundation, Cush cushion. I can't talk today. Um, and it's only $25 and I've been using it for probably three weeks now. I was worried maybe it would break me out or I just didn't really know, but I love it so far. <laughs> I'm talking to my camera. You can come say hi if you want. Hi. 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 This is what getting ready is usually like. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, it's what ready. Where are we going today? To theater. To theater. To theater. And we're going to learn a new song. Do you know what theater is? It's where you dance and sing. And we're bringing dolls. Oh. <laughs> are we bringing, what dolls do you want to bring? Um, um, um. um Barbies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, what's going on? Um, I know, I know. Uh, Which dolls do you want um, to bring? Um, um, and the bear and puppy and kitty cat. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can. Hello. That's what getting ready is usually like. So I stay home full time with our three girls. They are almost six. Our oldest is almost six in April. And then our middle is four. And our youngest is about to turn three in just a couple weeks now. She turns, or less than two weeks. So it's always really exciting around here. Going in with concealer. I love this Kosas concealer. I've been using this for months. Anyway, I gotta figure out a good place to set my camera when I do my makeup. Okay. So let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna go in with my Westman Atelier brow pencil. I love this. I've been using this for like years, maybe at least a year, two years. The sun is kind of peeking out today and I'm so happy about it. It's been so gray here the last couple of weeks and I really get down in January. I know a lot of people do get down in the winter, but I really do and I have had, I've just been majorly down this week. So I'm really hoping and praying for some sun. Maybe it'll peak out a little bit today. So fingers are crossed. I usually love to get dressed. I'm not a big wear sweatpants all the time gal, like all day. But the last couple of weeks, I don't even know if you can hear me. 
the last couple of weeks, I have only wanted to wear sweatpants, which isn't really like me. I usually love to get dressed, but the weather's just getting to me. So I'm dreaming of spring for sure, and definitely hoping for some sun. Westman Atelier Face Trace in Biscuit. Love it too. I love Westman Atelier. All their stuff is amazing. I also use their blush. Oh, whoops. I'm also, I'm so excited. Tomorrow night, I love theater, love Broadway. It's been like, my favorite part, arguably, about living here in New York. And Michael and I are gonna go out and see a show tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to that. We'll definitely bring, bring my camera along for that. So you can kind of come along with us a little bit. I think we usually like to go out to dinner before, but I think we're gonna just go and do something really casual this time. Like just grab some, like a slice of pizza or something kind of close to the theater, so really, really excited about that. I would go see a show every day if I could. And we've seen some amazing, amazing shows since living here, so I feel super grateful for that. We're also going to see The Lion King on Broadway for James's birthday. I mentioned that her birthday is coming up, and we're gonna go see that, so I'm really, really excited about that too, and so are they. It's Winter birthdays are hard here because we just don't have space in our apartment to host everybody. And so for warmer weather birthdays, we'll just do something in the park and just kind of have everybody bring picnic blankets and um, you know, just kind of camp out and have cupcakes, do whatever, let kids run around and play. But in the winter, it's just, we, there's no way we could fit anyone. We can almost not even fit the five of us in our apartment now, these days. <laughs> um, so winter birthdays are tricky. So for James's birthday, I mean, granted she's only three, but um, for her first birthday, I don't even remember what we did. I think we just did cake or something, like just the five of us here. And then for her second birthday last year, we went and saw, she was asking for a Jasmine birthday and she was very adamant about, I would like a Jasmine birthday. So we went and saw Aladdin, which was really fun on Broadway. So this year we're gonna go see The Lion King. We wanna really take advantage of seeing as many shows as we can. Okay, I think that's good. Hula bronzer, I just have the mini. I bought this to try it and I love it. We'll definitely buy this again. I've also been using this as eyeshadow too, to just like keep it simple. And I like a monochromatic makeup look. It's just something easy. I'm not super crazy adventurous with makeup, um, but I do love makeup. And I feel like I have gotten more interested in trying different things over the last couple years. So now I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless finish, airbrush flawless finish, setting powder. Just kind of under my eyes. Or Westman. I use this on my cheeks. This is the shade. Oh yeah, Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in Bichette. So it's a really pretty, oh, it's a really pretty uh, pink. Beautiful. So, put my brush right in. Where am I? There I am. I don't mind blowing on it. It's cream. Habit. Michael's schedule this semester has been really nice so far. Aside from the late class on Wednesdays, um, he has really chill Fridays and a lighter schedule than he has had in the past. And so um, Fridays have kind of felt like weekends because he doesn't have class and hasn't had a lot of work to do. So we've been a little bit spoiled the last couple weeks since he's been back um, with kind of longish weekends, which has been amazing. I've been doing a lot of work in the girls' room lately. Just their room is 
always changing because changes, I mean, if, if you have kids or you have kids in your life, you know how big the changes are in the first few years and just like how much their needs change. And especially with the three of them sharing a small room, I feel like we're constantly having to move things around, get rid of things, and like really think through how do we best maximize the space. And so I've just been trying to figure out some new storage solutions for them and just ways to get stuff up off the floor so they have more space to play in their room, which has been really fun. So I feel like I've been just fully immersed in like kids room Pinterest ideas, which has been really fun. I feel like the girls room is my favorite to decorate. I, I tend to lean toward really, um, really neutral things when it comes, like I love layered spaces, but I really like them to feel peaceful and neutral. But when the girls room, when it comes to the girls room, I just want them to feel like, I mean, it's their room and they're getting older now and they have preferences and I want them to love their room. And so it's been really fun to, um, to decorate their room and put it together. Cause I love, I also love color and patterns and things even more since having kids. And I love those things in general, just not so much in interiors. And so it's been fun to kind of flex that muscle when it has come to decorating their room. I mean, they love everything pink and unicorns and all the things. And so it's been fun to think through decorating their room in a way that they love, but also melts well with the rest of our home, which can be tricky. So that's been a fun challenge. Don't forget to put blush on your forehead. Okay, next we're using the Patrick Ta, I think that's how you say it, uh, lip crayon in the shade, what shade is this? Oh, she's single, which is beautiful. It also took me the longest time to figure out how I thought that this like little thicker, let's see, yeah, I cut my finger earlier, was supposed to make it go like fully in and out, but it wasn't doing that, but that's how you make it longer. It took me forever to figure that out. So anyway, just a little tidbit for you. So here we go with that. I love this color. Going in now with Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and Pillow Talk. I love this color. I am not the only one. I am not the first one, but I love it. It's beautiful. Next, I'm going to use the. Uh, I actually have. So this is Wonder Skin. It's a lip. It's called a lip mask. But it's like a tint. So it's. Um, it is a lip tint. I'm not going to use it today, but I really like it. Another something I saw somebody using on Instagram, and I really liked it. I'm not going to use it today, but I am going to use their clear gloss, which I have been putting over everything. I love it. It's not too sticky, but kind of sticky, like a good sticky, you know? Okay. I've just been using bronzer as eyeshadow lately. I like... I just kind of want my makeup to look like, you know, melted together. I don't like when it looks like a bunch of separate things happening. So I like to just put a little on my eyelids too, a little bronze on my eyelids too, and kind of like make sure it kind of blends into my, into the rest of my face, if that makes sense. January has been off to a little bit of a not ideal start. We, we traveled at the beginning of the year and met up with some West Coast friends, which was absolutely amazing. A lot of us got really sick and I got sicker than I've been in in a long time. Terrible stomach bug that lasted like almost 72 hours. So that was kind of the start of the year for us. I feel like that set me back a lot. And then about two weeks, two weeks later, I got food poisoning. So 
I got sick again, different kind, but still same kind. And so I feel like it just kind of threw me for a loop starting the year. I'm not big on like resolutions or anything like that, but I do like to kind of reset at the beginning of the year. And that just made it hard. So then Michael started back with school and then we've had a lot of great days and I feel like I just haven't been myself and I haven't really been very inspired or, um, yeah, just, just not really myself. So this has been fun, kind of a fun, different thing to, to have to do. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll keep doing it. Now I'm gonna go get my, what am I getting? My mascara. To, uh, yeah, babe. What's up? Hi. What? No, nothing. What are you wondering about? Where'd you find that tape? In the drawer. Oh, okay. And um, the last question is, uh, can we do an activity with you? Uh, maybe later. Like with like paper stuff, like coloring on it? With paper? Well, we can't color on the tape, but we can we can find a way to play with Not it. Not like colors. Huh? Not like colors. Uh, in a little bit we can. I'm gonna finish this and then, uh, and then we can. The camera's about to die, but using the Lancome Lash Idol mascara, bit of Merit highlight, and then some setting spray, and that's it. And do this really fast. Not today, because I have actually never done it while filming on this camera, but it can be really quick if you put your mind to it. So, this is what we got. Hey guys, happy Friday. Finally Friday. It has been a very long week. I've been saying it a million times, I know, I think, but very gray, long, so happy it's the weekend. Michael and I are going out tonight. I'm super excited. We just had some dear friends over for a play date, which was also really fun. Good to be with, with friends. And I am about to take a shower and kind of start thinking about maybe what I'm gonna wear tonight. And it'll be fun. Okay. Head out for date night with Michael tonight. I don't have a great place for my camera here, but we have an Align bag. He stole a denim dress, which is a very cool, like, leather kind of dress. We have Bowden boots, and earrings are misery. here this morning. A pretty late night. Last night, Michael and I went out to dinner. We had a date night and we went and saw Hades Town on Broadway and it was just maybe the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Seen a decent amount in the time that we've lived here in New York and Hades Town is definitely up there as one of the best things I've ever seen. I embarrassingly wept like the whole time. Um, I get really emotional at Broadway shows. It just kind of like does something to me. I can't explain it. But anyway, it was just absolutely fantastic. I take my show rankings pretty seriously and I'm tempted to say that it might be my favorite. Um, but that feels like a bold statement at this point. So I need some more time to process that. Put on, before Michael and I went out, these are the Olive and June uh, glue-ons and they are surprisingly amazing. I've never used glue-on. I'm trying to cover my face so you can actually see them. I'll just move. That's smarter. Um, I've never used glue-on, glue nails or like press-on nails before. Um, but I really am surprised at how great these look and how long they last. So anyway, but for the fun red and it is matching my outfit today, which is not intentional, but fun. Um, earrings are sporty and rich. And this set is new. It's um, it's from Donnie. It's their new Pointel set and from their new Pointel collection. I love the red and the pants are red too, which is so fun. Hope you're having a great weekend. Hey, Michael. 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 H
40th anniversary. Oh. I want to create an interesting.